So here's the uh, other video I was talking about. This is going to be uh, mainly focused on the roadmap. What's to be expected of Atomic Picnic in the, the next coming months and uh, next year. Uh, so yeah, uh, according to the roadmap, we are getting Rose. Um, hopefully soon, because I really want to play as Rose. Uh, <laughs> she just looks badass. Let's see. Uh, looks like they're also going to be working on more curios and evolutions uh objectives hud they're probably going to change how the objective looks right now you can kind of see it right there on the top right it just tells you what you need to accomplish what you need to do um looks like it, they're going to be upgrading how how it's going to look uh improved discoveries we're going to be getting more discoveries because right now not all the discoveries are available for us uh, some of them are still blacked out um new night map twilight dam so currently the only night map that we have is for the uh the train station one. Uh looks like they're gonna be adding one for the sands and twilight dam. And of course, right here, they're adding her as a new character, and it looks like we're getting three more. Uh you uh, I think you've seen the the next new character. He's uh he's actually right here, he's chilling right there. You can make up the glasses. I'm pretty sure that's him. There's two others, I'm not too sure who they are. I know one of them uh was on one of the splash arts but um i'm not too sure how they're gonna look uh let's see what else are we getting uh three new maps so it looks like we're just or two new maps because uh the other one's just the night version this one right here is just a night version of why am i zoomed in why's it got the magnifying oh because it's an image um yeah so the first map is just the night version of the train uh looks like again the two night versions of both the sand and the twilight dam uh, I really love the sand. I'm going to go ahead and do one playthrough. That's going to be my next video. And I'm just going to play through one game and show you what the game has to offer. Uh, Alright, so uh, back to the roadmap here. Let's go ahead and check out what they're doing next. Looks like they're adding two new weapons. I know that they're asking for suggestions on weapons. And here's what I'm suggesting, what I think should be added. Uh, I heard someone recommending a bow type weapon, and I think that's really cool. But what I would like to change with that bow weapon, instead of using the reload mechanic to reload bows, I'd like it if the reload mechanic uh, activated like a power shot or like a volley shot instead, and then rapidly tapping the 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 mouse, the you know the left click or the right click, whatever, um, does like a rapid shot instead. So you're using the reload mechanic to shoot quickly, and then you're using a perfect reload to shoot a perfect shot. I think that'll be perfect for the bow. Uh, it'll kind of change the use of the the reload mechanic and kind of giving it a different twist to it um now for another weapon i i know some people are suggesting melee weapon but from what i heard they don't plan on doing a melee weapon because how are you gonna um make the fast reload mechanic work with a melee weapon here's my suggestion don't give up on the melee weapon add that melee weapon and for the reload mechanic have them do like uh a pose or like a dramatic uh a dramatic flare like something intense why would they do that because it's cool i mean how many of us played final fantasy 7 and we enjoyed every time at the end of fight cloud would spin his sword right imagine having a big ass sword and then for the like after so many strikes your fast reload is actually just spinning the sword to fucking show off or like to taunt that'd be pretty cool but if you really set on not uh, using the fast reload for you know melee weapons, what would be a good second melee weapon that or range weapon? Because we basically have a sniper rifle. I think a minigun, an actual minigun. We have the assault rifle that has like twenty four uh, base twenty nine shots, something like that, twenty five shots. But what if we actually had a minigun that had like a hundred rounds already in it and the fast reloads like at the very end so it's slow to reload but you have a high fire rate and you have high magazine size that would be pretty good um let's see uh devices what kind of devices can we recommend um because they they're looking to add two more i think we should have like a gravity grenade and what I mean by that is it's an AOE grenade that pulls enemies to the center of where you threw the grenade. And depending on how many enemies are at that center is how much damage that grenade does when it blows up. A gravity grenade would be fucking cool. Another one, um, I think we should have more CC grenades. So I think there should be like a, a force or some kind of like 
air grenade where if you throw it it does a cone spread and it pushes the enemies back and if they collide with terrain or with like a structure it does damage to them if it doesn't they just fly back you know a certain distance that would be pretty sick <clears throat> those are my recommendations for weapons and uh, more devices now for curios this list can go on forever so i'm not gonna go on and suggest like the world to you um instead i'll i'll just let uh, um, other people decide or you guys decide on what new curios should be added um i do think at least one that i was hoping to see was a it was a like a comet fall item uh, i know you see a lot of games do it um, but you can actually get that done already. Uh, I discovered that apparently one of the combinations, uh, I forgot which one it was. Um, damn, I can't remember which one it was, but what happens is a, in the AOE in which you throw your grenade, like stuff falls. I think it had something to do with the exploding things. Uh, I can't really remember. If you guys remember that combination, let me know. I, I forgot it. Uh, so I can't really recommend anything else, but for some combinations that I would like to see, I'd like to see an invincibility combination. Uh, essentially, it, once you get hit, you are invincible for like maybe two seconds, so you can get the fuck out of whatever situation you got yourself into. That'd be nice. Um, what's another good one? What's another good combination? I think a good combination for that one uh, can already exist using the um the the cup here the log and then using the this headset because they're both healing perks uh and they're both uh they both i believe revolve around being hit so getting that two, two seconds of invincibility would be pretty cool uh by combining these two uh let's see there was another one i wanted to do because the scarlet i believe scarlet definitely needs a perk to combine into um because right now it just does that empowered shot on a probability. But I, I can't really think of anything right now. Like uh maybe if if it combines with this eyeball one. So whenever usually the eyeball it affects your devices and it shoots like a bunch of like uh, the balls. But what if instead when you throw the, the device and it shows like the little projectiles, it throws lasers, the 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 probability lasers from the Scarlet instead. So it's just like zoom, 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 lasers flying in every direction. That's kind of cool. I can see how that would get very distracting. <laughs> like it'd be extremely distracting. Or maybe what, what if it does like a, a solid laser, like a beam and it just rotates. <laughs> That'd be sick. I like my sound effects. Uh, rate my sound effects on a scale of 1 to 10, please. All right. Uh, evolutions we talked about. Mementos. I can't. So the mementos we have already are ones that uh, I can really only think of uh, right now at the moment. Oh, we need a crit chance one. We definitely need a crit chance memento. We don't have one of those. Where's it at? We used to have it. It disappeared. I want more crit chance. I want to hear the ting, ting, ting uh in-game events i think there should be an in-game event that has a, a mini mini boss <laughs> so we already have this guy right here that we chase down and kill but what if there's one that's empowered about as strong as a mini boss and stays in one location and we can kill that guy for the in-game event to get um more gold because the mini bosses already give us a chest or maybe it gives us chest and go uh pebbles when i say gold i'm in pebbles uh like maybe another event could be like a like a mini mini or boss uh a mob that's surrounded by a bunch of mobs and he's already kind of difficult to kill so something like the 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 cobras uh that we have to fight after reaching level 10 right hmm what other event would be pretty good you know what a platforming event would be good what if we activate an event and we are timed on reaching from when we activated the event from that location to a specific location and we have to follow a path so if you look at the the uh camp there is like a little a little uh racetrack kind of course that you can go through it doesn't really do anything right now but what if that was implemented in the game as an event you activate the event and you got to get from let's say we're at the train station you got to get from the back of the train station which is just like this open plains go through this obstacle course and wind up being on top of the crane and you have a time limit to do this and you have to go through these hoops to 
like uh basically the trigger that says you come you you've gone through this portion of the course you go to the next hoop to get to that portion until you get on top of the crane uh that would be pretty sick so a parkour course as an event would be be pretty nice enemies this is the one that I really wanted to get into. What kind of enemies could we suggest? I think we're... So, looks like we got, like, this insect, small animal-type vibe going on. We got, like, the chameleon. We got a gecko, right? The little gecko guy. We got Blastoise, the turtle. The evolved... Or, we got War Turtle and Blastoise. What are we missing? I think we're missing three crucial... Three crucial things I need in our creepy animal category. We definitely need arachnids, so a spider, and a scorpion. So if we're looking like at that desert level, the boss should should be a scorpion or a spider. I think the mini boss would be better if it was like a spider, and then the the boss in that sand stage is a scorpion. That would be pretty cool. So you, we add a new mob, which is a spider. I think we need to add three mobs per boss. So if the boss is going to be a scorpion, a spider can be a mini mob, like one of the mobs. What else would be a good match for that? It's the desert, right? So we added three more mobs, three of the mini mobs. Um, we got spider, maybe like a, a, a roach. A roach would be pretty good. Uh, like a, a type of roach character, maybe the, like a, and we got to get them flying roaches in there. So it's, it's a, it's a ground unit that can fly. So you get, you get the, the, when it's on the ground, it maybe does like a ram attack and then it flies and like spits on you, right? Like acid. Uh, the spider, we need some mobs that actually have some CC. So the spider shoots like webbing or uh, something that keeps you stunned or still like it snares you. So you got a combination of this annoying roach that tackles jumps in the air spits at you and then this uh arachnid that keeps you in place right that'd be pretty good and what would be the third mob for our boss scorpion uh what would be a good third one we got ro a rat we need a rat where's the rat and the rat can be the melee one just slapping with its tail doing like a spinny tail whip oh and it knocks you back That'd be pretty good. I think that because none of the mini mobs do any CC. So we got a spider that can stun you. Uh, and then a rat that can knock you back by spinning. And then, of course, the rat's going to be able to barrel out because out you can't you or not. the Yeah, you, you need to uh, you, it needs to be able to barrel because it's a rat. And that's just cool. Uh, the roach can just fucking fly and roach out and spit at you and then fucking tackle you and then. The spider can stun you, right? And climb up walls. It can vertically climb up the terrain. That'd be sick. And then the scorpion boss. Of course, with the obvious main weapon being the tail, it needs to shoot a laser. And then, of course, melee attack with the claws. And then it just, it's fast as fuck. Because all these bosses are either slow or stationary. The scorpion's gonna be like... Okay, I like my I like my I like my critter ideas. They better be in the they better be in the next batch. I expect this to be done yesterday. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, that's uh, essentially all they have for right now. The they're planning on adding more mobs, more curios, more events, uh, more weapons, uh, more maps. And I'm gonna tell you right now, my experience with the alpha and the betas and the early access. The I do believe that they are going to add all of this. They have not once let us down when they say they're going to add something. It's been in the game. When they're going to fix something, they've released some, uh, a patch that uh, in some way uh, fixed the issue, whether minor or completely resolving it. So if they're saying, we want this many bosses, we want these many events, we want these many uh, curios, uh, we want these many mementos, uh, we want these many maps, I believe that they're going to get this. It's a six plus. So they're hoping for more maps than just the ones we currently have. And then <laughs> while they only show two, I'm pretty sure it's question mark because they're looking for recommendations. So I hope they take I hope they don't give up on the melee weapon. I really don't. But if they are, I really hope for that bow and the, the way that the quick reload will work differently with the bow, I think would be really cool. It'll add a different mechanic to a new weapon. And then the minigun. 
uh, being able to actually have a high magazine weapon because the assault rifle, while it has a large magazine, something that is completely focused and has like a hundred rounds and then we get the magazine perks, it goes to like 200 rounds. That'll be so awesome. You just stay there shooting like a madman. And then of course the grenade ideas, I do think the force pushback that I suggested and the gravity, they're different from the ones that work now. And, uh, they can change the way the the gameplay works so let's say you use the gravity you pile them all in one spot you throw a grenade in there you th like a, a player two throws another grenade the uh, either the the uh rojo grenade or the uh just the regular the the frag grenade one and they're all in one spot so you just take that massive aoe damage all right uh that's the roadmap so far i'm looking forward to see what other romance map uh what future romance they uh they put out or uh what we're gonna get for 1.0 all right guys uh i'll see you guys later i uh, hope you like this video like subscribe you know the ritual um i'll be on twitch playing random games i'll see you guys later bye